What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over the first 200 algorithm, classical algorithm problems on Spodge. I read on Quora that if you were to solve the first 200 problems, you have the basic sense of algorithms and data structures. So then it's actually a good idea to just solve the first 200 problems first and then we could keep going back to code, code forces and solve those problems. But yeah, uh, that's why I've read that uh, it's good to solve the first 200 most solved algorithm problems first. So yeah, this is going to be the first problem. It's a uh, test life, universe, and everything. Your problem is basically just to use a brute force approach to find the answer to life. So what does that mean? That means that we are going to keep reading in numbers until we reach 42. When we reach 42, we stop. Okay. Um, so basically to do this problem, it's actually not that difficult. Um, you just have to keep reading it in the numbers until you reach 42. So yeah, uh, this is my code for it. First of all, we have a number uh, T, which is the current input value that we're reading in. Um, yeah, and then we read in T, and then that's just reading in T so that the T changes. So then that's from the console that to read. And they say to keep reading it in until we get to 42, right? Uh, and print it out until we get to 42. So what I did was while T is not equal to 42, I'm just going to print out T and I'm going to read in it again. Okay. So then by the end of this loop, uh, if it equals to 42, it's going to break out this while loop and then it just doesn't print anything. So yeah, um, and this actually works. Uh, yeah, this actually works fine uh, if you just submit it. But th this that's basically how you do this first problem. It, uh, this, is, <laughs> this is, sorry guys, if this is not really like a huge, huge, uh, large tutorial, but it's pretty straightforward. You're just translating it into code, the first problem. But yeah, um, well, what I also have here is um, hashtag define LL long long this is just uh, uh re-representing every time i have ll i'm saying it's a long long but uh, i'm pretty sure the test cases don't actually matter that much right uh you could use like you don't have to use long long in the test cases you could use int integer i'm pretty sure but yeah and then i'm also including a bunch of these libraries in order to make sure it works fine uh this mod doesn't really matter uh, this is from an other problem let's we'll take that out uh this is just a namespace using namespace as the and then this is my main method yeah um this is just improve speed for input and output but yeah and yeah at, at the end you just return zero and this code works because if you look it up if you run it if you do one it prints out one two prints out two three three if i do like a hundred it prints out a hundred until i get to 42 then it stops right it doesn't print anything out so yeah, um, we could actually submit it and see what it got. Uh, I already know it works because I already submitted it. But um, yeah, we just keep uh, keep. I just submitted it, and then later on we'll do the and see it got accepted. So yeah, uh, ne tomorrow we'll go over the next problem on Spodge of classical problems. They get increasingly more difficult. Um, the last time I did this, they got way more increasingly difficult. But yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go over the next problem in the next video. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Let's see how this series goes of the classical Spodge 200 to classical problems. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.